Welcome to the Character Chronicles, the People Show. Check the post of Rescue Nation. Brought to you by Nebraska Spine Hospital. Ladies and gentlemen, just let, allow me to address the elephant in the room right off the top because it is big, it is huge, and frankly, I'm wearing it. Now, today's show is about whether or not, okay, two quarterback system can work here at Nebraska right here, right now. Well, we've done that, you know, one time before in the past, and I am not saying that Adrian Martinez and Luke McCaffrey or Tommy Frazier and Brooke Beringer, or that they aren't, or that they will be, or that they won't be. I just really like this shirt, and it's really hard to find a proper occasion to wear, so this felt like it was close enough. Now, back to the topic at hand. Will two quarterback system, guys working together, like Luke and Adrian, really work here at the University of Nebraska? Now, if nothing else came out of uh, Nebraska's loss at Ohio State, one aspect of it was a hit. This is according to Sam McEwen's article, all right, the, out of the, uh, the press conference from, from Monday's press conference. The two-quarterback system with Adrian Martinez and Luke McCaffrey. And here's what Scott Frost had to say. It was productive and smooth, and you, Coach Scott Frost, said in part because of the player's character and their affinity for one another. There is no friction between the two guys, Frost said, and because they're two of the best players on the team, they're both going to play. Two good players who are good people, too, who are friends, Frost said. Adrian Martinez said, Luke and I make a great team. Now, one area Frost does want both of them to improve upon is the fumbles. There was three fumbles last Saturday versus Ohio State. Martinez accounted for one, McCaffrey for two. Okay, and Frost said of that, if we're going to ask our quarterbacks to run like running backs, they need to protect the ball like running backs. That'll be especially important in Saturday's game against Wisconsin. Now, there's three, three boxes that you got to check for a two-quarterback system to work because there's an old saying out there. If you have two quarterbacks, you have none. There's another saying that says there's an exception to every rule. So how do we know if this is an exception or not? Three things. Box number one, you got to have the right guys with the right attitude. All right, Adrian Martinez, Luke McCaffrey, good people, good dudes. They've got the right attitude so far. So check off box number one. Box number two, will it create competition between the two quarterbacks or a division between the two and potentially the team? Now, when you look at situations in the past, whether it be NFL, college, high school, whatever the case may be, where teams have tried a two-quarterback system and it didn't work, a lot of times I've noticed it's because there was one guy who was supposed to be clear-cut better or the clear-cut starter or a guy who had been there much longer and a new guy comes along who's younger, a guy who's got a bunch of hype, is unproven, and it's kind of like he's the future and this guy was the guy, the guy that's been there, and then you got a little bit of division there. Okay, Adrian Martinez is the starter. Frost has made that clear. But I don't think that there's such a clear-cut division between the two. Their skill sets are similar. They each have their own strengths. But I don't think what you're going to get is division because there's not a clear-cut separation. They are two really good players. I think what you're going to get is competition. And that's the difference. I think they're close enough that they're going to push each other and they're going to make each other better because competition always makes people better. As long as you've got the right guys with the right attitude and we appear to in this situation. The last box, you've got to check off. Because... Uh, some other situations I've noticed where a two-quarterback system doesn't work is a lot of times when two quarterbacks have two drastically different styles. Like one might be a pocket passer, the other one might be a scrambler and or option type quarterback. And what happens there is guys in the locker room will tend to prefer, oh, I, like the, I like the better throws, I like the pocket passer. And other guys in the locker room might like, ooh, I like the, he can make plays with his feet and he runs the option or things of that nature. These two guys, as I mentioned, their skill sets are so similar. And again, they each have their strengths that they have over one another and weaknesses and things they need to work on, but their skill sets are so similar. The offense doesn't really change. It doesn't change a whole lot. All right, so for me, uh, I think you check all three boxes, especially based on what we've seen so far. Over time, hopefully this stays the course. It creates competition, not division, and they push and make each other better, and it makes the whole team better. All right, that's what I think. That's what I believe. That's what I see. All right, what do, you, what do you find folks at home think? You're the experts. I'm just some wannabe in front of a camera. All right, now I am excited because football season is back. Character Chronicles, that means Character Chronicles every Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. Central Time. Check it out at omaha.com slash character. My gut reactions after every Nebraska football game, usually about 30 minutes or less, and Character Live. Character Live every Sunday night, 8 p.m. Central Time. Check it out on my Facebook page. I can't wait to do more of these. Go Big Red Noise. Remember to throw the bug. Thanks again to our sponsor, Nebraska Spine Hospital. Ladies and gentlemen, when it's your spine, you do not want to mess around and experience matters. That's why you can trust the experts at Nebraska Spine Hospital, the region's only spine-specific hospital. They are the best at what they do.